Um, here is Georgia. They're trying to pass a state law about parental rights. So this is one person that's obviously against it, and she's going to show you reasons why. I'll give you the name right now when it pops up. A lot of those children did not finish high school. I am extremely concerned that we would put money in their hands in that and that entire piece of life in the hands of parents who are not qualified to make those decisions and they don't have the money to put in the difference that their child would need to attend a private school. So let me correct myself. This, this was for school choice for the state. And this was Lydia Glaze. She's a representative in Georgia saying, basically parents are too stupid to understand that because a lot of them didn't, in high school, so understand what I'm sorry. Understand what? How to spend it? That's why they should keep public schools because a lot of these people aren't educated enough to. They're too stupid. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to replay that again because I I didn't I I didn't maybe grasp the context behind this. A lot of those parents did not finish high school. I am extremely concerned that we would put money in their hands in that and that entire piece of life in the hands of parents who are not qualified to make those decisions. And they don't have the money to put in the difference that their child would need to attend a private school. Okay. So I guess what they're proposing is that if they do allow school choice, they're going to give them money, money, which they are going to mishandle because they're too dumb. I mean, it's, the the money is specifically for school, so you couldn't use it. But it's like a voucher, basically, to whatever school you want. Um, but apparently, according to this representative, the parents are just. Too there, well, there's some truth to, to that. Decision. There's definitely some truth to that. There's stupid parents all over the place. There's stupid people mm-hmm. all over the place. Yeah. So, I, I mean, present company included, but, right here with Miss Lydia Glaze here. But but I mean, at the same. I mean, the, the arrogant the arrogance of saying, well, "I know better than you because you're too stupid." I just. I, I can't stand people like that to think, oh, you're so I, I'll hold you to now. Like you're the one that gets to decide. Why? Well, because they were elected, right? I mean, isn't that kind of what we do? We right, but this people? is so th- okay. But parents are fighting for this type of stuff, and the, the, they're trying to pass bills for it, and she's against it because parent people are just too stupid to make a decision for them. So you're a hundred percent sure that this voucher is only going to be able to be spent at a school, or just cash not in hand? I don't know. I'm, I'm just speculating. As far because as if it's a I, voucher, I, I, really I mean, I don't see how you can. I don't see how you can like. I mean, it's still it. law that you got. I'm saying it's still law that you have to put your kid in school, right? So if you have to put your kid in school and you have the money to put your kid in school, I, it would be kind of difficult for me to say you're going to spend it for other bullshit and have your kid at home because you didn't pay to go. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's possible. Well, but, but and that's kind of what I'm saying. If it's a voucher. Again, we would have to look this up, but if it's a voucher or or if it's not a voucher, why not make it a voucher to where it's only going to be, hey, this is where you're going to school. This this is going to be for school. Like, this is not, you can't go to fucking Best Buy and buy a PlayStation 5. 